Welcome to Basu TV. Please do subscribe to our channel and show your solidarity by clicking that bell. And I pledge, as always, that quality info will always be dished here. Today's podcast is going to be a game changer for many. I've had numerous mails, post IPL especially. People want weight loss. You're 40 plus. Gender really doesn't matter. You gain those extra kilos. You feel that you're not fit. I need to get back. And my comeback trail is so, so very tough. I try walking every day in the morning. I count my calories. I've tried various nutritional plans. Nothing seems to be working. Does that sound like you? This podcast is for you. I'm going to give you 15 odd tips. And if you are a person who is looking for quick fix, uh, you can stop the uh, screening right away. But this is for the real, hardcore, uh, genuine people who are trying to chase weight loss. I'm telling you, I'm going to give you a permanent solution. I'm not going to dig at any nutritionist or trainers or strength and conditioning coaches. This is purely based on my experience. And I've done it over a period of time. And you will love it. You're feeling hopeless. Nothing seems to work. And uh, all I'm requesting you is develop two qualities to lose weight. Believe in science. And Santa is not true. Please grow up. You need to have a sort of a method. And I'm going to dish that method for you in a very simple but succinct fashion. Here we go. I have got several points here. Before we start, let's all pledge to convert our wish into a goal. Let it not be wishful thinking. That's the easiest. Uh, as I told you, <laughs> Santa's not true. You need to grow up. Point number one for weight loss. We have tried everything. 40 plus, battle of the bulge. I need to get fit. Mid-age crisis. Uh, please help me. Um, I have read so much in the internet. I have followed all the advices given by certain people, but nothing seems to be working. Point number one. Let's go one step at a time. Just get up early. Half an hour. If you are a person, wake. let's say that you sleep by 9.30, 10 and wake up at 6 o'clock. At least 20 minutes earlier. 5.40, 5.30. Wake up 20 to 30 minutes earlier than your normal time. And all I'm asking you to do is go for a 15 minute walk, not as an exercise at all, just to wake you up. Okay. Point number one, please note it down. Point number two, you might have tried intermittent fasting, keto diet. I'm not digging at all those things. There is a time and place for all those things. And I also recommend all those things for certain people. But now we are going to get back your health. Okay. Only a healthy man or healthy woman can actually lose weight. I will lose weight first and then become healthy. That is not possible. In order to lose weight, first of all, you have to become healthy. So start your day with breakfast. Nourish yourself properly. And the breakfast is the most important meal. And you need to fill oil in the tank. right? And if you are going to start in an empty tank, let us say that you are, you, are, you are in a hurry eating a cereal or skipping breakfast, you are not doing yourself any favor. So breakfast you need to have and uh, that is point number two. I'll tell, I mean, I'll come to what you should have and what are the type of uh, macro and micronutrients you should consume all that a little later. Third most important point, steps. It has to be done organically. Oh, I did 45 minutes of treadmill walking. I did 30 minutes of cross train up. I am not asking you to do all those things. Make sure you are mindful about the fact that you cover at least 10,000 steps in a day. That is so, that is a minimum. And if you go for your 15 minute walk in the morning, you would have done some real damage on the steps straight away. And you can easily cover the 10,000 steps in a day. Point number four, the most important point, make sure that you have quality protein in every meal. This cannot be compromised. Etch this into your head. And if you want, you can tattoo this. Point number five, probably the most important point again, weight training or strength training or some form of strength work. Oh, I don't have access to gym. No problem. We can do some body weight exercises. Okay, I do have access to a gym, but uh, I don't know what to do. Find a trainer. Fix a program for yourself. You need to get stronger. Okay, 
degeneration process starts much earlier than what you actually think and if you have 40 plus make sure that you get stronger to add 100 grams of muscle mass is not easy so you need to get stronger point number six the order in which you consume your food for all meals is the most critical thing you don't want to start every meal or any meal for that matter which is high in carbohydrates start every meal with good fats or protein it can be eggs, it can be tofu, it can be chicken, it can be dal, anything. Or if you feel you need to start from fats, it can be avocado, it can be nuts, it can be cashew, it can be anything. Okay, start with protein or fats and then you can have your starch, that is your carbohydrates. Keep that as uh, last in the picking order. I am going to talk about uh, order of food in detail in the coming uh, episodes but uh, ensure that the order of food is maintained for all meals breakfast lunch and dinner bullet coffee again uh, especially in the mornings till about 11 o'clock you can go for this bullet coffee it is nothing but black coffee with the mct oil and half a teaspoon of clarified butter we're going to do a, another episode on mct oil and the benefits of uh, clarified butter and that black coffee bullet coffee is fantastic and it definitely kicks your metabolism up in the day and it is going to aid you in your fat loss. CV work and I say cardiovascular work you don't need to go to a gym and do this cross trainer or treadmill or rowing or bike it can be a simple five kilometer walk twice a week this is like a doctor's appointment twice a week heaven or earth 5k so that is your cardiovascular work so literally like an athlete you are also working on your nutrition, strength and conditioning, but at your levels. Number 10, unless you are living in a cave and you have not read anything about omega-3 or fish oil, you definitely need to consume omega-3 capsules and a multivitamin. Please consult your physician for the same. Point number 11, sleep. I have heard many clients talk to me, I hardly sleep for 5 hours and they feel no, they, they were actually proud about it. Actually, you should be not proud about that fact. Your body requires X amount of hours which goes into deep sleep, X amount of hours which goes into REM sleep. And I feel that for healthy living, you need at least 7 hours of sleep. That is a minimum, if not 8 hours. Oh, I sleep only for 6 hours and I can quickly charge myself. 5 hours is enough for me, 3 hours is enough for me. All that is bullshit you need to be in bed for eight hours for a starter we'll talk about the timing little later circadian rhythm and all those things preferably by 10 30 and you can sleep up to 6 30 or 5 30 that sleep wake cycle should be consistent and you should not play around with it for people who are looking for weight loss first of all fix your sleep it is like having a water bottle filling water from the top and you're having a few holes in the bottom you're never going to fill up the same case with people who try everything else properly and they don't sleep well. There is no hope in hell or heaven for you to lose weight. Sleep wake cycle has to be fixed. If you need to consult a, a sleep expert, please do so. In the afternoon, I mean, let's say that if you are an early riser, try to have a, a nap in the afternoon. Post that nap, the second half is a fresh day for you. It's another day for you. So do not miss it. Night time, reduce carbohydrates. Okay, you're going to sleep and rest. There's a release of melatonin early in the evening. Okay, use everything. You're going to wind up. Night time is what? It is for repair, restoration and recovery. You need protein to repair your cells and get up in the morning and go for work. So, when you wake up in the morning with cortisol, you take carbohydrates. When you start winding down, more protein, more fat, to just chill, relax. Restore, repair and sleep. So reduce your carbohydrate intake in the nights. Every week, possibly you can try this. Once a week, you try to go off sugars, grains, wheat and dairy. Once a week. Even if it is for two meals. Let's say Saturday afternoon and night you are going off these two things. Oh, Saturday is not possible for many I know. Okay, try it out on another day. Once a week, my suggestion is fast till 1 p.m just once a week uh, probably you would have had a meal the previous night at 8 o'clock so till 1 p.m is a good um, 16 to 17 hours 
and the dust cleans your body every once in a while you need to clean your body and uh, this little bit of fasting once a week which is for 16 17 hours is going to do a lot of good for you in general try avoiding sugars in all forms mm. have it as a thumb rule whenever you have sugar your insulin is going to go up and you are going to face the consequences for everything you do you will face the consequences don't think you can cheat anything the human body cannot be cheated and you are no exception so these are all things you need to first understand uh, you need to resonate with all these things and then move forward wheat and rice can actually be substituted with millets or hand pound rice or brown rice of course those two things are rice still but at least the fiber level is a little higher so it's a better option and people who are so used to eating rotis and uh, chapatis and uh, parotas you can substitute it with jowar roti bajra roti and ragi roti milk is to be avoided by and large and uh, except for some good organic curd or greek yogurt if you do this for let's say 6 months you will see a whale of a change in your body and after you hit so many miles with regards to your nutrition lifestyle and your exercise and all those things you will notice that if even if you indulge once in a while nothing happens your body now will have that uh, 2.0 version of your own metabolism and you will feel lot better you will feel lot more energetic if you had depression all that will come down if you are a person who was very moody in the past that will change if you are a person who was not very sporty in the past that will change you will be up and about and uh, life will turn around and you will feel a lot more positive and suddenly you will feel that mm, my second youth is back and i want to achieve so many other things in life do not miss this if you are 40 plus battle of the bulge is what you are facing go for it today closing note for this podcast i'm sure all of you all have seen novak djokovic virat kohli usain bolt all these superstars and um, our own pv sindhu okay in the past us pt usha all these people were wonderful champions and what did they do they did the simple things day in and day out the boring routines this is a challenge i am posing to all the people who are watching this particular episode i am 100% sure that 95% of the people who are watching this will start but they will fade away in their pursuit this is content will continue for the 5 percenters stay consistent okay stay scientific thank you